if you want to modify this, even let's say you want to add some DMSO to this, all right, 5% uh, solution, do not go beyond 5%. Use about a dropper full or about a half a teaspoon, put it in there with it. MSM <clears throat> does convert to um, DMSO in the body. Okay, so it's going to help, again, carry the vitamin C, the sodium into the cells and clean up the cells as well. All right. So I wanted to point this out to you for some of you who are having skin issues, some of you having intestinal issues, some of you having uh, um, cellular issues, congestions, you know, in the arterial lining, having problems breathing, having problems going to the washroom, having intestinal problems. MSM is one of those things that can repair the intestinal tract, can repair tuberculosis, Crohn's, IBS, leaky gut. Okay. If you are going to be using it for that purpose, all bread has to stop. Bread, bread facsimiles like crackers and cookies and cakes and tortillas has to stop. We oatmeal for a short period of time has to stop. This is required so that your body's bowels can now release some of the alcohol you're producing and some of the damage that the, that the, that the accumulated starch has produced. A lot of the breads, I would say today 99.9% .9 of the breads have some genetically modified trait that's causing the disruption in the bowels. And when it's fermenting down below, it's producing alcohol, it's causing the colon to expand. What's happening at that point is the alcohol in there is wearing, breaking down the, the barrier, it's a solvent, proteins and other waste matter is going back into the bloodstream, repoisoning your body. Breads have to stop. The bananas have to stop. The grapes have to stop. Too much sugar produces too much alcohol. Rice. If anybody's interested, you can email me. I will send you a whole protocol or go to my webpage. There's a protocol in the April 26th script of the show on my link. Follow that. Okay. This can help tremendously in healing this. Okay, so we just did a, a video on chelation and I had a question for Tony off camera, but I wanted to ask it on camera just in case the public had the same type of question. Now, Tony, I, had a, I have a friend who has uh, basically blockages in their veins, arteries from the waist down, and that's causing them to um, just not be able to walk normally anymore. They're using a cane to walk, and so when you're when you're showing me this um, chelation uh, drink that we're making here, uh, I think that that might work for her. But if it starts moving things in her arteries and stuff like that. Uh, will that do anything else um, that could be dangerous? For example, like block. If things start moving around in her artery, in her body, will that can that potentially block something elsewhere? Okay. In when we deal with EDTA, EDTA doesn't just move things; it breaks it down. And there will be a shifting of things. That's why vitamin C is in there because it's also an antioxidant, it's a free radical scavenger. So when you're putting these things together, what's happening is one thing is breaking one thing down to a point where your body can now either absorb it or remove it. And things are going to move anyway. Now there is a slight possibility that something like that could happen. But in general, if you're eliminating a lot of the things in the diet anyway and you're adding these things to your system to, to make the changes, the problems will be at very nominal, okay, almost non-existent. Um, <clears throat> I've had blood clots in my legs from injuries or whatever. I've had blood vessels break and I've used this formula. Now by the next day, within a 24 hour time frame, it completely dissolved the blood clot, the bruising was gone, and the arteries were starting to repair. So there is always a slight possibility that something can go wrong. Nobody, nobody medically in the alternative field, nobody can guarantee you that everything is going to be 100%. Nobody. Okay? Nobody can tell you that something's going to work right away. Even the pharmaceutical drugs, when they give them to you, it takes six weeks for them to addict you to them before you'll see any results. So I would say if you were going to have this issue and you're changing the diet, I would probably tell you in that situation, if you're going to use this, start using more enzymes as well. Okay, because digestive enzymes help boost the systemic enzymes, which again clean up any excess debris and again will further minimize any problems that may occur. You got blockages from this point on. You've got some serious issues going on, and you may want to do the uh, intravenous chelation, okay? And someone who does the intravenous chelation, and then which they can moderate it even more. Because if you're that blocked up, then you've got some more. You got more serious problems going on than normal. 
So again, enzymes in this would help tremendously. But if it's that severe, then again, you may want to go through more of a more dramatic chelation. And again, that would be up to you.